Deep in the Canadian Rocky Mountains is a beautiful valley, surrounded by incredible snow-capped peaks, glaciers, blue lakes, and waterfalls. This valley is only accessible by four-wheel drive vehicles late in the summer when all the snow has almost melted. But if you are up to the challenge, the rewards are second to none. This is the story till now. What's up guys, I just rolled into Eastern British Columbia. Came on over to the dirt garage to pick up a friend Clint here and we're gonna go hit some trails because the weather is nice, it is mid-July. It's it's almost too nice. It's almost too nice. It's, it's definitely it's too nice hot. to be in your driveway. It is too <laughs> It's too hot to be I mean, here. It, it says the guy with air conditioning. You don't have air conditioning? No. <laughs> oh man, well, yeah. yeah we got the, the new Gladiator out. We're gonna take our first trip in the new GoFast camper, which uh, should be fun. Stick around, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate it if you help me out in reaching that goal. How many uh, Canadian miles are we doing here? Canadian miles? Yeah. Like on this road? Yeah. 35? Canadian mm -hmm. miles? That's what CAM stands for, right? Canadian, yeah, Canadian miles? Canadian miles, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do we know which road goes to the lookout? Um, how do you think it's uh, the, oh, too this obvious, this right? Might, yeah, this might be a red herring. It could, it could very well could be. <laughs> Starting off this trip by heading up to a very unusual fire lookout tower that we recently found out about. If the area looks good, we'll camp there for the night. What's going on? Ah, truck is getting a little hot. There's not a, lot of, not a lot of room with the V8 in there, and every time when it's a really hot day and we're doing constant climbs with like no bellow, it just gets hot and I need to stop and let it cool down for a few minutes with the fans running. The road up isn't very long, but it's a consistent steep climb to the top with some incredible views. This is kind of a cool road. Oh, I can see the tower way up on the top. tower. It's tall. All right, we made it to the fire lookout. We found it. Uh, it's, oh, that looks funny with it uh, just behind the sun. Look at this. Oh, nice. So <laughs> the tower is on top of this, uh, this metal thing <laughs> with a ladder. Uh, they have it blocked. Not supposed to go up there. So I think we'll probably not do that. Uh, it looks sketchy anyway. I don't want to climb down that ladder. No, <laughs> but uh, nice view up here. It's a great view. I wish I could see the view from up there. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like uh, a little beach, a little, maybe a little swim. Ooh. Okay, I got a perfect spot. Might take us a little bit longer though. We decided that camping at the fire lookout on such a nice day just wouldn't be right. And we made our way down to this incredible lake spot. We're set up right next to the lake here. We're going to get the GFC all set up. Clint's got his truck set up all here with the tent, and then we can enjoy this lake. Looking forward to it. Beers, water, what else can you ask for? And boats, mountains. Mountains boats, sea dews, jet skis. Oh. While the sun's sitting on its side. Well, that sure was quick. 
See you, Clint. Bye. Bye. I didn't bring a boat. I did. <laughs> Good looking boat. Thank you. Good looking lake. Sure is. So Sean took a little adventure into the woods, if you know what I mean, and uh, just checking in. Have you guys hit the thumbs up button and uh, considered subscribing yet? Because if not, you should. My heart was dead, cold in my chest, a stone in my morning guys I think I can honestly say this is the first rooftop tent that I've had where I feel like I might actually hang out in it it's got these huge windows which make it really nice it's cool because you got airflow and you can see the nice view I don't really want to get up but I have to we got adventure ahead Today, we go into the valley, and if we're lucky enough, make it to an incredible lake at the end. All right, we're making our way over to another mountain range, and we're gonna head up uh, to an alpine lake on a really fun trail. The weather was looking good, but uh, now we're getting warnings for thunderstorms, and I can see rain in the distance, so. The route we're taking today isn't marked on Onyx Off-Road, so we're gonna track this one using the go and track function so that I can save the route for future reference. We're gonna use the go and track function. And start recording a track. storm we we're worried about definitely rolled in which could make things interesting for us as we get up into elevation here no thunder yet although uh, it is supposed to happen The first half of this trail is mostly muddy and overgrown. Luckily, we're not the first ones through here this season and most of the deadfall has been cut away for us, but the trail is still a bit tight in places. I think we're the wrong way, dude. Did we? I think so, let's go right back there. Right goes down to like a valley. We're totally off my tapping. Yeah, no, we, we went the wrong way. Yeah, we go down this road and then there's a the right down to the creek where we camped that run night, one night or a left but it's coming up pretty quick here. Yeah, that's great.
awesome. We are still very early in this trail. It's been a bit of a slog. Just uh, a lot of deadfall. We have to dodge. like a little river crossing to get the blood pumping and we are back on our way. This section of the trail is flooded with overflow from the creek which has washed out the track. Watch it run across the passenger floor up under the dash. You've got a mouse I in your truck? I've got a mouse in my truck. Oh, that's yeah. the worst. Along the trail are several rock slide sections from a couple of years back. We'll have to make our way across them. For the most part, though, they're pretty easy. You can't help but notice all the incredible scenery around you as you get deeper into the valley. At times, it feels hard to believe what's all around us. We're lucky to be able to explore places like this. probably uh, maybe a quarter of the way in on this trail. I'd say more than that. More than a quarter? You can see the end. Yeah, but it, there's still quite a bit of stuff ahead yeah, of it. Yeah, but we came a ways, dude. Yeah. The, the last bit is longer because it's shelf roady, so you're taking your time. That's but, right. Yeah. It's beautiful out here. I wish it was sunnier. We got this uh, storm kind of looming. So far, we're having pretty good luck. It's been a light drizzle. Yeah. Not enough to like catastrophically change the trail on us here. Yeah, we don't want it to get too slimy. We don't want to have to stop and pick up tomorrow. From here, we'll ascend to a higher elevation and travel some shelf roads before descending back down to the valley floor and eventually to the lake. There's that blue sky again we've been chasing. Well, it's starting to look good. It's getting a little brighter up there. Maybe we'll luck out and this will go away.
The last time we did this trail a couple of years ago, the whole section had washed out and we had to dig this road out with shovels. But this time it was pretty easy. Last time we did that, that was super scary. Yeah, like nothing now. Yeah. Somebody dug it out real good. The road here is not very wide and on an extremely uncomfortable angle. high lift that was left here last year after Corey was stuck on a boulder down there. I can't believe it's still in the same spot. But I guess <laughs> not that many people come up here. It's um, it's not in the same shape. It's not in the same shape? A little rusty, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little, uh, little rusty. I expected it to be like stolen by somebody else or something that's been up here after we were, but no. Who would steal this, dude? Most of the snow is melted. But uh, tomorrow when the sun hits this blue lake, it's going to be amazing. How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. Ah, thank God! Chef Sean. Chef sir. Sean. Chef Sean. <laughs> Did you make that yourself? Yeah, look, I'm making it right now. <laughs> All right, got a little dinner in me. Got the fire going, got camp set up. It's starting to get dark. I'm, yes, I'm vlogging. Around the fire? Is that not appropriate? Killing the vibe here. Killing man. the vibe. <laughs> well, it's getting dark. I'm going to uh, set up a light. I got this really cool new light that I picked up. So it comes like this on this little tripod. You don't have to use the tripod. This actually um, comes off really easily like this. You can hang it up, do all sorts of stuff with it, but just clicks on like that, super bright. And then Boom. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Lights up all the camp. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking out this light, because I think it's pretty cool. It's also like the coolest place on earth to be testing out a light like this. <laughs> yeah. Place is just rad.
In the morning, with the sun hitting the valley, it's incredible here. A crystal blue lake with the towering Rocky Mountains all around us. It doesn't get much better than this. Good morning guys. I absolutely love this place. But it's time to go. We're gonna move on. Head back down this trail. All right, we're on our way out of this trail. There's a couple of forks I'm not sure of, but as you can see, we've got the track that I saved here on the way in on Onyx Off-Road, and we just have to follow that out. Onyx has been an awesome tool for me for finding trails, as well as tracking my route for some of the more remote places we go. If you want to try it out, there's a link in the description. After spending a lot of this year in the United States, I've definitely realized that there's something different and special about British Columbia. I'm lucky to live here and to have the opportunities I have to explore some of the most wild places in the province. They leave a mark on you, much like this one has, and feed that desire to keep going out further. I can't wait to see where we go next.